Hi guys, I am Sneha here. Today in this video, I want to discuss about different body types. Well, do you think that weight loss is temporary? Have you in the past lost weight and gained back again? That has happened to me as well. That was the exact question that I asked myself. Why was that happening? The problem with weight loss is weight loss is actually a symptom. It is not the solution. When we have to look at weight loss, I want you to look at you know look at it as with with a completely different lens. Why do we really gain weight? We gain weight because our body is not functioning well, and if we are able to identify where the root cause is, that is how our solution is going to be sustainable. It is just like this. When you get ill, you see symptoms. For example, you see symptoms like fever, or you see symptoms like headache. or stomach ache when when you go to a consultant a doctor they don't recommend you just the medicine based on those symptoms they actually find out what is the problem and how exactly do we need to really trigger or work on that particular problem area so once we start to work on that problem area that is how we start to treat that medical condition so the same way is how we need to deal with our weight problems there are four different body types because of which you actually end up gaining weight again and again this is by surprise something that i also got to know a couple of years back that is how i have been able to master my weight loss and i have been able to maintain there are four different body types adrenal thyroid liver and ovary in fact my body type is ovarian body type i accumulate weight around my lower but lower body mostly initially i thought this is actually nothing but a genetic problem i thought i was gaining it because uh, this is something that i have got in my genes but i was wrong the problem is actually not with just the genes it how i you know handle that weight loss let me quickly jump into how do we really categorize these body types so let's first you know let me talk about adrenal body type so in adrenal body type it's very peculiar of an adrenal body type person to have weight around their belly area associated weight around the hip as well as the butt butt area in fact the belly is going to be more protruded as well as a sagging belly so uh, this can be common in both males and females generally there can be associated weight around the the face as well uh, this happens because of an excessive uh, release of cortisol hormone and cortisol hormone is considered to be a fat storing hormone and if there is an excessive release of a fat storing hormone you'll end up gaining weight and the weight for adrenal is going to be around the belly which is going to be like a sagging belly next is ovarian body type very common in females there could be associated problem with ovaries and where what is the body type uh, how, how do the body really shows weight accumulation as the weight accumulation happens around the hip area the butt area as well as the thigh area in fact the upper body does not really gain a lot of weight chest back or even arms it's very common in females then is thyroid thyroid body type females or males end up gaining weight all around their body belly is like a round belly it's like a cylinder body and at the same time the there is fat accumulation around the thighs as well as the calf area and the arms as well overall uh, weight distribution then is the liver body type so what is liver body type is very common in males and in liver body type most of the males end up having this pot belly what we call it a beer belly and there is always an associated problem with the liver it's actually not fat to be honest it is actually fluid accumulation so let me tell you a lot of people when they go to the gym or when they start hitting uh, you know an exercise routine they start hitting the gym say for example somebody with liver body type they will start doing a lot of crunches and leg raises let me tell you that is not the solution we need to work on first getting our body healthy in order to lose weight same goes with somebody who has adrenal body type so adrenal body type where the cortisol is high we need to really trigger just the opposite of that which is the growth hormone growth hormone is a fat burning hormone in order to activate growth hormone we need to either stick to a very low intensity workout a very high intensity workout i want to create a next set of videos as series where i'm going to be talking about all these body types one by one what are the symptoms how you can you know relate to these symptoms and how you can what is the solution based on those symptoms that you are seeing and if you need to really work out if you need to work out then what intensity if you need to make corrections in your diet what are the corrections that you need to do 
if you think that you can relate to any of these symptoms or any of these body type comment in the section below and tell me what are these i will shoot the next video based on that particular body type only see you in the next one